our little salt dough creations are done baking in the oven. So what we did is, you know, we made them, you saw us make the dough and make some little creations out of them. And then we put them on baking sheets and put them in the oven at 200 degrees. Um, and the article said to just keep an eye on it, that thinner stuff wouldn't need to go as long as thicker stuff, which makes sense. I think an hour in, I took the thinner stuff out, but um, the rest of the thicker stuff went probably an extra hour roughly so we just wanted to kind of show you what happened so this little coil pot that Chekka made slumped um in the oven so i like it so it much more now stay tall but it is a pretty neat shape and then we've got all the wonderful little pinch pots that we made so the color definitely yeah if you look at the bottom compared to you know the part that wasn't touching the baking sheet um they definitely lost some of their color they got kind of whitish and i think that's from the salt but you know they're still pretty cool so i would imagine if you wanted a more vibrant color you could probably put more food dye in them <laughs> yes but, um you know cute little pinch pots we did a little stamping in them Cheka did this one, a little orange guy with a little stamp in the middle. Reminds me of like a seashell. Me I like too. It. So we were just kind of having fun Amanda with them. Amanda did a little fishy. Yeah, and then she made some little like birds in different colors. Kaka, ah, ah. <laughs> kaka. And then Cheka made some beads. So she'll be able to like put these on a string and kind of do whatever she wants to do with them. You know, you could make beads and make bracelets, you could make necklaces, you could make earrings as long as you get like the correct, you know, hoops and whatnot for earrings. But, you know, you could also like sew, since they're beads, you could sew them to like a fabric piece or a paper piece. So there's lots of options that you can kind of do with these different yeah, shapes. Yeah, mess around. You can, you know, epoxy things together. Um, you can, I think what we're going to do is shellac and or put resin on these so they can kind of stay nice for longer uh, because, you know, it is dough. Some kind of sculptures out of them. Yeah, it is dough, so I imagine that these will probably, if, if left be, without putting any protective coating on them, they'll probably get gross after a while, you know, like food does, but cute little things. I made, like, these coasters with little stamping. Um, we'll see what they're like with a clear coat on them. See, see how long they can yeah, last. Yeah, put them in resin. And we'll let you know how it goes. Update you on that process later. Um, and we wanna see what you make. So if you do this salt dough recipe just to have fun with it, um, you know, take some pictures, take a video if you want, post what you made. We got Instagram at hopecat underscore YA and that's also our Twitter. And you can also find us on Facebook if you just type in Hope Cat Youth Arts. So see you next time. Stay safe, guys. Holler.